Hi, I'm Aaron Shipper, and today I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to play the game Pounce. Pounce is a card game of two or more players that has shares many elements to the game Solitaire, and if you don't know how to play Solitaire, that is absolutely fine. We will go over all these elements, and let's get started. We have two people here to demonstrate how a game starts. Each player has an entire deck of cards. Each player then counts a pile of 13 cards face down. And then plays four cards face up next to their pounce pile. When every player is ready, play begins and you try to get aces into the center area just like in solitaire also like in solitaire twos then stack onto the aces and you count upwards until you reach a king when two players have the same card that can stack but they don't play it at the same but and they play it at the same time whichever player gets their card laid there first keeps their card there and the other player must put their card back to where it went try to keep the, uh, when there's more, lots of people, sometimes uh, they're too far away from where a lot of the action is, so try to keep the aces spread out where everyone can reach so the game's a little bit more fair. The cards that have been removed from their play area are then replaced with the cards at the top of the pounce pile. If no more cards can be played into the center, they can stack cards on the pounce pile. As such. Then, like here... Just like in Solitaire, cards are stacked in descending order, with red on top of black and black on top of red. Red cards cannot be placed on top of other red cards, and black cards cannot be placed on top of other black cards. These piles can start with whatever number is in the play area, and they can go as far down until they get to the number 2. Then, play continues, and... When no other stacking can be done, players with the remaining cards they have in the larger pile, they flip the top three cards off the top and play it as they can. The top card of those three cards flipped over can be played, and the cards below it cannot be played unless the card preceding them has already been played. Play continues like this for a while until, some, until player, at least one player runs out of their pounce pile. Once the pounce pile has been depleted, the player will shout pounce, which will end the game. However, if a player sees that they don't have the most cards out in the center, which is the entire point of the game, they cannot shout pounce in order to try to obtain a higher score. Doing so, however, could cause another player to get an even higher score and still win the game. So you kind of just have to... Go with your gut. Once a pounce has been shouted, though, all, all players stop moving any further cards, and only the cards in the center of the area are counted. Each player sees how many cards they put into the pile, and that the total number of cards that were played into the center by them are recorded and added up. That is their score. Games can consist of playing the first to 50 points, the first to 100 points, or maybe even 1,000 points. You play as many games until someone reaches this number or above it. However, so getting to some of the higher scores could be very difficult, as players don't necessarily get that many points each game. There have been instances where... Only four or five cards have been put out there by a per player, and yet the pounce pile still runs out because the pile in their play area has gotten too large. Uh, it's a lot more fun the more players you have, as there can be like tw just four players already. There's 16 aces out there, and it's really fun, and it can get very, very hectic uh, if you've not heard of this game. Please give it a shot. If you don't want to give it a shot, that's fine. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this game and try it out. Thanks for watching.